In this video, we're gonna be converting between moles and liters at standard temperature and pressure of a gas. Moles are gonna be a measure of how many of something that we have, how many moles of particles, kind of like saying how many dozens of particles we have. And liters is gonna be a measure of volume. So liters and volume is gonna answer the question, how much space does something take up? So for example, if I had two moles of a gas, how much physical space is that gonna take up if I'm at this standard temperature and pressure? So in this case, we have a conversion factor for that. One mole of a gas at standard temperature and pressure is always gonna take up 22.4 liters of space. Now that's a pretty big volume. Think of a two liter soda bottle. This is about 11 times that size. So one mole of a gas at standard temperature and pressure takes up a lot of space. This conversion factor we usually write without the one. So we'll just write 22.4 liters per mole. And important to remember, this is only true at standard temperature and pressure. If we're not at standard temperature and pressure, then we'll have to use something called the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law will probably be covered in a whole different unit in your chem class. So in this video, we're only looking at standard temperature and pressure problems where we can use this 22.4 liters per mole. If it's not at STP, we need to use the ideal gas law and one mole of that gas won't take up 22.4 liters. It'll take up some larger or smaller volume. So what is STP specifically? Well, STP is gonna be a temperature of 273 Kelvin which is zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty cold temperature. And the pressure is gonna be one atmosphere of pressure, which is about the pressure at sea level here on earth. So let's look at a couple problems. This first problem says 2.00 liters of nitrogen gas are in a sealed container at STP. How many moles of nitrogen are present? Well, we have 2.00 liters, that's what we know. And it says how many moles, so we're converting from liters to moles. And it says at STP, which means that our conversion factor here is valid. If this wasn't STP, we couldn't use 22.4, we have to use something else. So let's set up our conversion table. And on the left side, we're always gonna write what we know. And on the right side, we're gonna write our conversion factor, which in this case will be our 22.4 liters per mole. What we know or what we're starting with is the 2.00 liters of nitrogen. And every mole of nitrogen that we have is gonna take up 22.4 liters. So I'm gonna write 22.4 liters on the denominator of my fraction because I need liters to divide out with liters on the bottom. So 22.4 liters of nitrogen. And on the top, I'll write one mole of nitrogen because that's my conversion factor, right? One mole takes up 22.4 liters. Liters of nitrogen divide out and I'm left with 0.089286 moles of nitrogen. I have three sig figs in my problem here. That's the least number that I have. So I get to keep three sig figs and so I'll round to 0 0.0893 moles of nitrogen. So if I filled up a two liter soda bottle with only nitrogen at STP, I would have 0 0.0893 moles of nitrogen. Our second problem says 0 0.100 moles of helium is in a balloon at STP. What is the volume of the gas? So I'm converting from moles to volume and it says that I'm at STP, so I know my 22.4 liters per mole is a valid conversion factor. Set up my table, and I'm starting with 0 0.100 moles of helium. My conversion factor is 22.4 liters per mole. I want the moles to be on the denominator, so they divide out with moles over here. So one mole of helium, and then on the top of my conversion factor, 22.4 liters of helium. The moles will divide out, and I'm gonna be, I don't even need a calculator for this one. 0.1 times 22.4, I'll just move the decimal to the left one, and I get 2.24 liters of helium. So that's how we convert between moles and liters of a gas at standard temperature and pressure using our 22.4 liters per mole conversion factor.